Well, yesterday I made a chili, so today I'm going to use some leftover chili to make some nachos. Nachos. And when I make nachos, if, if I don't have the corn tortilla chips around, uh, but I have some flour tortillas, I'll go ahead and pick up some flour tortilla chips, which is not something you usually see, but they're very tasty. Very, very tasty. So it's pretty simple, you just take your favorite cooking oil, I recommend coconut oil for most cooking. Once you're doing the Italian and olive oil. Very tasty. All, to make chips, all you have to do is make triangles out of the tortillas. Ganyan lang siya guys, ka easy. Just put a little bit of oil in the pan. You can preheat it for this. It doesn't take long to get the temperature on And so we just put them until so they're they start to turn brown and they get crispy, but before they burn. And then they can now fry a little soaked on a paper towel or a rack, and then lightly salting to taste. And then we'll use those chips to make the nachos. And the nachos will have cheese and chili and put a little um, jalapeno on the top and then melt it in the microwave and then add a little sour cream before you the sour cream and extra salsa. <laughs> no, I put the salsa on there. <laughs> <laughs> you start over. You put the salsa and then the chili and then the cheese and then the jalapeno and then you melt it. And then you just need a little fresh sour cream. Okay, well the chips are done. So I'm going to get rid of the paper towel and arrange the chips on the plate so that you can dress them. Arrange lang siya, arrange. Now when I make the cheese, in um, Texas I always use a mix of Colby and Monterey Jack. But I couldn't get Colby here, so I'll use a medium or a mild cheddar instead. Um, but if all you can get is like eating cheese, then you can use that and still make nachos with it. You don't have to. I'll be trying this at the SM store. Um, so the first thing I want to put on is some salsa. Salsa, guys. You can make just a pile of chips, but if you want to be a little more fancy, you can dress up each one like this. I think you can also use the like, like spaghetti sauce, yeah. Yeah, you could if you wanted to make more Italian style. Mm -hmm. I've used spaghetti sauce before actually. And then you use pepperoni and, and mozzarella cheese and make more of an Italian nacho. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Just to show people something different. Or, or more of like a mini pizza. Your Tostitos, you can use your favorite salsa or make your own. And then I want to put the chili on. No more. No, I think that'll be enough. And here's our chili from yesterday. So, this is chili, guys. Yung ginawa namin li ano dito i add chili. Sa ibabaw. And some people would like to just make a big pile and a big mess and do sloppy nachos, and you can do that if you want. I like to have. Enough to fit in your mouth in one bite without making a total mess. Chili pa more. My startup shot, my startup. Alright. Next steps. The next step is the cheese. The cheese. You gotta put cheese a little everywhere. And then the jalapenos. And then the last piece, and if you don't really like hot peppers, you can leave off the jalapenos. Although these are pickled jalapenos, so they're kind of mild, they're not super hot. So 
place. There we go. I think that's one. Next is look at that. Microwave timer. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Pizza na siya, guys. <laughs> Pizza. Ang sarap. Try nyo. Sarap, sarap. So that's all, guys. If you like the video, please subscribe. Yeah, please subscribe. Please, thank you for watching my video.